All right, this vlog is pretty special to me. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along to a cottage that my family and I have been going to for a number of years. We don't go every year, but we didn't get to go last year. So this summer we decided to head on up. This one was definitely a bit of a different trip for me, just in terms of what I was able to do, kind of like kayaking and boating and swimming. Um, it ended up being quite hard some days on the post-concussion syndrome side. Um, but obviously I'm not gonna like, you know, film myself in bed late at night, surrounded by several just-in-case buckets, you know what I mean? But um, other than that, the trip went really smoothly and I had such an amazing time just like being able to sit in nature and steep, steep it all in kind of thing. So anyway, I really hope you enjoy. I, <laughs> I really love watching these clips back, so I hope you do too. And yeah, here it is. Good morning. We are going, we're gonna go have our coffee in the middle of the, the lake this morning. Hi, welcome to the lake. You probably already saw, but I am at a cottage. Um, it's not my cottage, we just rent it, but we've been renting it for a number of years and it's 
really nice here so um if anyone is wondering it is in i wouldn't really say northern ontario because it still goes quite away like ontario still goes quite away but it's in the halliburton highlands so yeah it's really nice um the lake is quite small um i guess by lake standards but it's really quiet no motorboats are allowed or anything like that and yeah i got here yesterday it was about like a six hour car ride. Anyway, I just thought this week I would take you along on a week living at a little lake house on the lake. Hi guys, so it is a very cold night, but I'm just about to play some board games, have some tea, do some reading. Um, Evie is absolutely exhausted. She did so much swimming and boating and stuff today. So I think it's literally like eight and she is, she's done. She's done for the night. Do you look like you would murder me? and probably never regret it. Yes. Yeah? 1,000%. Some of these people look kindly. Yeah, I don't know about the rest of these guys. They look a little dodgy. Do you look like you sent your son off to play sports that you never got to excel at when you were young and you stand <laughs> guidelines and take things too seriously? Not that I didn't get to experience myself, but mm. I've definitely yelled at a referee or another kid. Okay, time for the big reveal. Big reveal. All right, so what I got, I got Richard. No. Who'd you have? Charles. Charles? Oh my goodness. See, I didn't see him as like the, the um, cologne kind of guy. Good evening guys, it is Thursday now? No, yeah, I think it's Thursday, but it's around dinner time, so everyone's just getting ready to eat. The sun is coming back out. It was raining a little bit today, but 
um, we decided to go into town and we stopped at a bigger lake and Evie and I went swimming. It was called Potash Lake and it was just really, really cool. The scenery and just driving through the streets here is just like phenomenal. It feels like a different world. I just feel more like myself here and always when I go back to the city, it's like, it's like surprisingly not really surprisingly, but it's very difficult. It's just always hard to kind of readjust back. But anyway, forgetting that, um, the plans for tonight, I kind of want to go for a kayak ride or maybe a canoe ride when it's like dark because the stars here are just amazing. I was out last night on the dock looking up at them and I think going for like a canoe ride in the middle of the lake is also a full moon right now. So you can't really see that many stars, but just going out in the dark in the lake isn't something I've done before. So I kind of want to do that. But um, yeah, I've just been reading a bunch, listening to audiobooks. Right now we are making some vegan burgers and yeah, I want to see a moose though. Eevee! <gasps> Have you been chasing the squirrels? plan for today, I kind of want to take the pedal boat out into the middle of the lake and then go swimming off of the pedal boat in like a nice part of the lake where it's quite deep and stuff. So that's what I want to do. I want to take you guys um, kayaking because last night I went kayaking with none other than a beaver. I know. It's just the Chronicles of Narnia. What is this? There was just a beaver all of a sudden swimming right beside me and I found his dam, so I'm so excited to show you guys. He was just so chill. I've never seen a wild beaver before, so that was really special. Alright guys, so we are in a kayak. Hi, how are you doing this evening? Um, and we've come down this really beautiful canal that leads into a smaller section of the lake, but um, right there is usually where a whole bunch of turtles are sunbathing in the daytime and stuff. But last night we came out here and actually a beaver popped out and scared us and um, I also found the dam last night, so we're gonna go see if we can spot him again.
Okay, yeah, so this is the section of the lake and then actually right there is like an art resort or like an art getaway kind of thing. I think mostly painters like stay there. Um, and then you can like see them all the time on the beach with like easels and stuff. So I guess they must paint <laughs> obviously the beautiful landscape. All right, it's raining and we're leaving. It's so sad. Goodbye, lake of shining, rainy waters. I will miss you so. Um, yeah, we are heading out this morning, so I have to go pack up everything, but just came down here for one last little glimpse into the lake, so yeah.